Hey guys, Shauna here with Homegrown Self-Reliance. So today we're doing the Self-Reliance Skill of the Week where we learn a new to me vintage skill every week for the whole year of 2021. So today we are canning chicken. So we raised some Cornish cross chickens last year and uh, I think we waited a little too long to process them so they were a little on the tough side. So um, I decided to pressure can them uh, for some easy, quick meals. Um, also, the reason I decided to do this is because we don't use whole chickens a whole lot. We use them more, more in this form where it's uh, chopped up or shredded um, in a lot of our meals. So I decided canning some chicken this way would give it a little more flexibility and would use them more often. So, uh, I apologize. I kind of did a lot of this without recording. Um, but I did this last night, so then it was too late to, to actually pressure can them. Uh, so I just put it to bed for the night, and today I'm going to finish it up. So, what I did is I boiled um, about six whole chickens, and then I pulled the meat off of the bones. Um, then I put about a tablespoon of kosher salt into the bottom of the jars, uh, stuffed in about as much chicken as I could. You need to make sure you leave at least a one inch head space. Uh, one inch head space is actually right at the bottom of this, this lip here. So you don't want to ignore the, the head space. Uh, it is there for a safety precaution. So uh, make sure that you leave enough space. Uh, and then I also uh, poured in some of the, the water that I used to boil the chicken into there. So uh, then of course I, I had them in the fridge. So now I'm going to actually can them up. So what I did is I put about uh, three quarts of water into my pressure canner. It gives about two inches or so of, of water at the bottom. And then we're going to put these five quarts into the canner. So about six whole chickens, uh, did about five, about five can, five quarts of chicken. Some people prefer to do it in pints. I'm going to do it in quarts because, uh, I have more quarts and then also we have a big family, so we do need a lot of, of meat for our meals. So, uh, rather than using two pints per, for every meal. I'm just gonna use a quart. So then what we do is turn on the heat. Since these jars are cold, I started with cold water, cold canner. Um, that way we don't have any problems. And one thing I forgot to mention also, once you put your chicken and the juice into the jars, make sure you wipe the rims with a clean paper towel with a little bit of vinegar on on the paper towel. Uh, then you put on the, the lid and then the ring. The rings you can reuse as many times as you want to. Uh, the lids you have to use brand new whenever you're pressure canning. Um, so of course I've, I've got brand new lids and I've, I've got brand new rings too for this one, but it's not necessary. You can reuse the, the rings as long as you want. So, uh, so what we're going to do is bring this up to temperature. Uh, it needs to start to boil. I will put the lid on it. Um, this one has a weighted, or I'm sorry, a dial gauge. Uh, so for this, we're going to bring it up to temperature, let it vent for about 10 minutes. So the vent, the steam is going to be coming out of this hole right here. 
and you want it to do that for about 10 minutes and then you put your weight on it. And then while it's canning, this is gonna rock back and forth the whole time. And we're gonna have to boil it uh, with the weight on for about 90 minutes uh, at 11 pounds of pressure uh, for the dial gauge. Uh, for, the, for the weighted gauge, I think it's 15 for my altitude. We're about 2,300 feet. So um, since I've got the, the dial gauge, I'm just gonna do 11 pounds of pressure and it's 90 minutes for quartz, 75 minutes for pipes. So I'm gonna get this lid on there, hopefully. <laughs> And I'll be back in a bit. All right, so my canner is now at about, uh, it's actually about 12 pounds of pressure. So we need to turn the heat down a little bit. And after reading the manual, I found out that this actually will not really rock unless it's at 15 pounds of pressure. So um, the instructions I read just to said to do it at 11. So that's what I'm doing it at. So, so far it's looking good. So my timer just went off. It's been 90 minutes. So I turn off the heat for my canner and what do you know, like most of my uh, skills of the week, I kind of messed up on something. I did not put the rack thing at the bottom. I hope it's still gonna be okay. But uh, yeah, so now we just have to uh, let this pressure go all the way down before we really do anything with it. Um, oh, and make sure you leave your, your weight on until the, the pressure has gone all the way down. So I will show you the results in just a minute. Well, my canner's pressure was zeroed out, so I just pulled out my chicken. It is still boiling, guys. looks beautiful so this has a nice mixture of the white meat and the dark meat and it was canned in the chicken broth basically that I that I cooked the chicken in so I'm really excited to use this for some nice easy meals and keep it in my food storage so I hope you enjoyed the video please consider giving it a like and smash that subscribe button if you want to learn more about being self-reliant. See you next week.